All right, that's the big exclusive today that we've been uh, bringing you all throughout uh, the day itself. You can catch that entire show at 6 p.m. But in the meantime, markets are extremely quiet. Take a look at that. You've got a barely two to three point move on the Nifty, the Sensex. Also seeing a gain of just 30 odd points is what we've been seeing. It's been extremely quiet today as far as the queues are concerned. Just one day ahead of policy. Avinash Gorasakar, Head of Research at Precision Investment Services and Jay Tucker, Senior Technical Analyst at Sher Khan, joining in this afternoon. Gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time out. Avinash, I'm going to start off with you. It's the obvious question. What's going to happen tomorrow? No, I think Priyank, uh, the markets have already discounted a 25 basis cut. But uh, the key issue is that I think, uh, you know, the good part is the food inflation as well as the overall inflation is down from the month of April. So clearly, I think going forward, what kind of commentary Mr. Rajan makes, I think in case he just gives a hint that this could be one of the last rate cuts, I think that could possibly be a big tapner for the markets because, you know, once the two rate cuts have happened, not much transmission effect has happened. I think he has clearly put on record saying that unless, uh, you know, the transmission effect happens from the banks, uh, future rate cuts are, uh, are difficult and I think with the Fed likely to, you know, raise uh, interest rates possibly from September. My guess is I think probably even if a 25 basis cut does come, it's going to be one of the last few cuts and then I think industry will have to look at core demand, which still continues to be pretty weak on the ground. Okay, I mean, let me just also turn that, uh, you know, conversation further towards earnings and we've seen that slump this time around. Uh, we had l &T come out and, uh, I mean, the stock is still uh, reacting positively, but a weak operational performance. Some pickup in domestic order book though, Avinash, is there any silver lining there? I think uh, the only silver lining was the order book intake. Mm. I think if you see the fourth quarter, you know, the order intake was high, although profits were down by almost 27%. Uh, I think clearly the uh, incremental uh, order book which has come in has come in from sectors like construction, which is a good sign. But I think clearly, you know, after a bad fourth quarter, I think uh, the pickup in the first quarter will be slow. So I think, uh, you know, in the uh, uh, management commentary post the results, they mentioned that they are looking at a 16% growth in the order book again for FY16. My guess is execution is going to be key because fourth quarter saw very poor levels of execution. Uh, first quarter may again be slightly sloppy. I think the pickup may happen, you know, from the second quarter onwards. So obviously short term, you know, the stock may range, you know, in a very narrow range with a negative bias, but the medium to long term picture definitely looks good. All right. So that's as far as LNT is concerned. But let's also bring in other technical 